great time down here in Panama City Beach, Florida. Off the beach shark fishing is doing a good job for us. Man, I'm going to be worn out before the sharks are done. Woo! All right, go ahead and lick it. Fishing for sharks is just like fishing for catfish, only everything is 10 times bigger and 10 times badder. These rods are 80 to 100 pound class rods. This is a Penn International, 30 wide. We had 80 wides, 50 wides, spooled with 100 to 150 pound monofilament. This is a Penn Senator with 100 pound monofilament. The leaders here are about 20 feet long, 250 to 350 pound steel cables with two 20 aught circle hooks on there. Just awesome, awesome gear. A pound of lead is used to keep this stuck to the bottom and uh, we're fishing with whole three pound bonita fish. These things are huge and uh, you can see here we got them rigged up with both hooks on either sides of the bonita stringed up. Big bait for big sharks and uh, what we do is because you can't cast this out, Lance here puts the bait and the lead on his kayak while Matt lets the spools out and he kayaks out about two to four hundred yards out into the ocean past the breakers to dump the bait and the lead out where we're fishing. Takes him about 15 minutes paddling as hard as he can to go out and back and he's just a little speck on the horizon by the time he gets to where he needs to go. Lance ended up kayaking out and back 10 times before the night was over. That's about two miles of kayaking to get all of our bait out. Doing this as a three-man team was so important because while Lance was out kayaking baits, we were getting huge hits. Hey, look at that.
You want to hold his jaws open? Perfect. How much do you think this bad boy weighs? Uh, he weighs a good 150, 200 pounds. All right, go ahead and grab by the tail. I'm gonna let you release it. Awesome. Back it out. I'm gonna follow you with the camera. Hang on, wait for a wave to help you. Okay. There you go, now pull. Pull. Now turn around and walk right back towards me. Now hold her for a second. She's trying to take off. You wanna hold her for a second. Okay, now let go, here you go. There she wants it. Good job, buddy. Look at her, she's still right there. Yep. That is a beautiful Get the light on her, man. I'm trying, man. See if she comes back. She might. One of the essential shark fishing tools turned out to be a claw hammer. Not only is it great for unhooking big sharks, but it's essential for getting that 20 aught hook pounded into frozen bait. You can see here, Matt's using half a Bonita. We got so many hits, we had to go down to half baits in order to keep from running out of bait within the first hour and a half of fishing. And uh, we went through bait so quickly and leaders so quickly that we ended up having to send Lance out to go rebate in the middle of the night. Now, I gotta tell you, I was really, really impressed. It takes a certain kind of man to go kayaking out into the middle of the ocean in shark-infested waters in the pitch black. He had no flashlight, no life vest. Uh, Lance uh, has a certain amount of intestinal fortitude you don't find in every guy. One of the reasons we had to send Lance out so many times to rebate was we had schools of small spinner sharks coming through and just cleaning out our gear. They were taking our bait, they were hitting leaders. Because you get all these sharks swimming around with their mouth wide open, they run into that 100 pound leader and they'll snap it, uh, just running into the leader. So we ended up just getting a ton of hits. We got about five to six hits in the first hour and a half. And a lot of them just wouldn't hook up because they were these small uh, spinner sharks. That's what they did to one of them, like the two marks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fortunately, it didn't take us very long before we got some real serious hookups. One thing that's really hard to show in these videos is just how much time it takes to hook and land one of these fish. We'd start here the reel spinning, and we could let the fish run with it for up to five minutes. It took a really long time for that fish to commit. But once it committed, we'd jump on it, reel as fast as we can, take up as much slack as we can, Matt would uh, do this, he would grab the rod once it was hooked up and run back the beach about 30 feet and try to hook it up as best he can. Once he was hooked up, hand me over the rod, we'd clip it into the fighting harness, then you'd just reel and pull until your shoulder gave out. Is there still something on there, Lance? Yee -yee. Good old spinner shark. You know, I just can't emphasize enough how cool this is. Here it is, January 1st, dead of winter. Most people are hanging up their rods for the year saying fishing season's over. And I'm bank fishing for fish the same size as me. Best fight of my life. Just absolutely amazing fishing. And it's non-stop action. From the time we got there till the time we packed up, it was just constant, constant action. And I gotta tell you, 
Matt and them boys from Off the Beach Shark Fishing, one of the most affordable guide services I've ever used in my entire life. I gotta tell you, for the bang for your buck, you just can't beat this. Uh, this is absolutely amazing fishing. It's super affordable and you can do it all year round. Too many spinners. I think that's a big one, huh? Yeah, it's a pretty good one. Right. Big male. Yeah, he's not yeah, he'll he'll try to bite the out of you. All this video was from one day. We got there at the beach at 4 p.m., took a while to set up. We fished until 9 p.m., and we had six sharks on the bank, and we had about 11 sharks on. It was absolutely non-stop action. The average rod was fishing anywhere from two to 400 yards out. Um, so if you do the math on that, it's like reeling in a shark over a mile, probably somewhere between a mile and a mile and a half of reeling these 100 to 200 pound sharks. It was absolutely awesome and absolutely exhausting. My arm was so tired by the end of this. Uh, man, my shoulder was going out, my quads were on fire, my back was on fire, my hands were sore. It was awesome, but it was insane. I actually felt pretty good that night. The next morning I woke up and it just, my hands wouldn't work, my back wouldn't work. I just went, oh, felt like I'd been run over by a truck. It was the most intense physical fishing I'd ever done and it was awesome. God. That shark wanted to chomp my leg so badly, but I wasn't having none of it. <laughs> nope. <Ain't happening. laughs> 
day, buddy. If you like this video, check out some of our other videos, including me trying a hand at kayaking bait for shark fishing and video from an epic Alaska fishing trip I took this last year with my family. If you like what you see, don't forget to hit subscribe to the Catfishing Carp YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.